I would say um just um going into halftime, you know, we know that we we hadn't played up to our um, ability. And um and just coach challenged us during halftime, you know, to to defense to just keep it keep the great effort up and you know, offense to come out and, you know, be productive. The way you guys started the season, uh, what uh, what is was there a moment where there was uh, something that happened where there was uh, that you could point to where you would say you turned it around and then that led to this winning streak? The thing that I can say is we played all the games up until until we started winning, they all been close games. We haven't been getting uh, blown out, especially in conference. They've all been close games. But um, coach just said, just stick with it. You know, don't want to know. Just keep on, keep on fighting. That's all it was. He told us about down at halftime, 18 to seven. Make sure you have a good game plan for the second half. Get that safety, 20 to seven. But no panic on this team. Still believe. Was that the mindset when you headed to the sideline to still win this game? Oh yes, sir. Um, you know, even with taking that safety, um, with the score being twenty to seven at the time, uh, you know, it's still a two possession ball game. Uh, and, you know, I mean, it's just like it's been this whole season. You know, we, we've been we've been coming from behind, and, and we're used to, you know, being the underdogs and, and giving up basically about twenty points and then coming starting to play. So. Uh, you know, being a two-possession ball game, we know that way our defense was playing that day. Um, I would need to score and get a stop, and then you know we, we had the potential to be right back in the game. Also, talk about the chemistry you two had. Uh, mm-hmm. It seemed like it was a practice field that no one else was out there but you and him. Talk yeah. about that second half. When he uh when he came back out in the second half, and he gave me the call to come to me, I just I just know I knew what time it was. We work it all the time in practice. It's, it's just something easy that we do in practice. We always got good chemistry. So when it came out for the game time, when he called it, I already knew, I already knew it was gonna, it was gonna be a good day. I knew it was gonna start. Yeah. KD, you're approaching several school records. Talk a little bit about that. Uh man, uh, it's a, it's an honor to um to even be close to you know these records and whatever. Um, but you know, like I said before, um, none of these things mean nothing. You know, it's some we pl- I'm playing for something bigger. You know, I'm playing for my brothers, and we're all trying to get wins. You know, that that's what's going to come first. You know, all those things will come, you know. Uh, I mean, even with the record, you know, um, I get, got great coaches, you know, for putting me in those positions. And these guys making plays, you know. Uh, so it's, it's really not my, my record. It's really these guys' record that we're, that we're going out there, uh, you know, or whatever. But at the main, at the end of the day, we're trying to we're trying to go out and get a W and, you know, finish this season off strong. Coach Brockman ever teased you about it? <laughs> uh, uh, nah, he, he hasn't been teasing me lately. I, I guess it's because I'm getting close to breaking him. But, but uh, nah, he hasn't been teasing me lately, but I'm sure it's coming. Hey, uh, Jordan, Jordan's had a team bring out I would say, man, this, this guy, he just, he came a long way, you know, uh, from not seeing as many snaps to playing basically uh, all of the snaps on offense, you know. You know and you can't forget about his special team snaps also, you know, recovering a fumble, you know, on Saturday. But, um, man, it's just, just believing in him, you know, his belief in himself, you know, uh, just believing that he, he's a great player that, that he is. And, you know, it's just, just balling out on Saturday, just making plays when the opportunity presents itself. What's been your mindset with the secret school this year? Uh, just go out and make plays. That's all it is. Make the plays. If the ball, if the ball comes to me, I just got to make the play. That's all it is. That's all it is. It's going to have to be. It's just going to play. As we look at some of the numbers, I feel like sometimes when a defense takes away Jesse Blackburn, you're open. Mm-hmm. When they take away you, Jesse's open. Yeah. What's going to happen when you're both open? What, I mean, what, is that, is, is that kind of what you see as a quarterback? Are they trying to take away one and you've got the other? or? Uh, are you guys just dialing up the right place for the right person? Oh, I mean, you know, if, if they're leaving both of them, then this, it should be a great day for the racers, you know. Um, even with those even with those guys, you know, um, being covered, they still know how to make plays, still some playmakers. And um, uh, just 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 being playmakers that they are and just, just going out and, and executing at the level that they can. Uh, before the 
season even started, this game was circled because of the matchup, because of you, because of Eli Jenkins, the possibility of two offenses going at it. Now, all of a sudden, you guys have won three in a row in conference. You're four and two in Jacksonville State. I mean, there's there's some playoff implications involved. How does that feel coming down to the last two weeks of the season? Um, yeah, it, it, it's great to be in this um, – in this situation, you know, with us coming off some some pretty nice wins, uh, but those are over with now. Uh, it's a new week, you know. We got got a great opponent coming in this Saturday, and we we have to respect that, and we have to um, just just come out tomorrow, and even today, you know, starting with weights and just just get ready for a great game plan and go out and execute Saturday. Yeah, I feel like I feel like we'll have a I feel like it should be a good game. It'll be a good matchup. We got some good momentum going into the game. So I feel like uh we should go out and have a good performance. Just like Coach said, we should maybe we gotta put four quarters of football together to be able to go out and play a good game. And that's what we're gonna need this this upcoming weekend. JD, your your final thoughts, your final game here at Stewart Stadium. I know there's a, a lot of players who will believe they'll never be emotional. Share your thoughts on going into this game. Um, my last last game, you know, um, last home game, you know, with my with all the all my guys, um, my brothers, just uh, it, it'll be special, you know. Uh, and I know we're gonna come out and play hard, you know, as we always do. But you know, um, th this will be a special one to get, you know, with with the type of opponent that's coming in here, you know, um, and with it being all of us seniors, you know, our last home game, um, just. It'll be it'll be a special one Saturday just to um just to go down in the history book. Kitty, years passing, you faced Jacksonville State. Is there defense do different things than other opponents that you faced or are they playing with speed what's so special about their defense? Um one thing about their defense man, just all eleven of those guys, they're very talented and um they're very well coached. Um and we all know that from, you know, the rankings and whatever. Um but um, it's just playing the, playing the team that day, uh, playing those guys, playing the 11 that's on the field. You know, um, we're not playing the number two team in the country. We're not playing. We're playing those guys Saturday at Jacksonville State at one o'clock. You know, um, just I man, just got to come out and play ball. And the, like Coach always say, man, those guys put their pants on the same way we do. <laughs> no, no idea, no idea, man. It, it'll be one of my brothers. It'll be, it'll be very special. Is it even more special than it might be at home? Oh yes, oh yeah. To do it in front of you know uh, the greatest fans in the OVC, uh, it'd be awesome. You know, especially to do it right here at home, it'd be great. What's been the most exciting moment so far this season? Was it beating one of those ranked teams or winning a Eastern Kentucky? The most exciting thing I could say is. Um, going out and just winning with my boys, especially with the season that we had at the beginning, just not pulling out any close games. I feel like it was exciting for me when we had won the first one against the ranked opponent and we just brought it, we just brought it back and we just kept on continuing it week in and week out. And we just, I just hope to continue it, you know, going moving forward for the rest of the season.